In this video, I'm going to show you how we build upon the star and F2L and solve most of the S2L, which is known as the second two layers on the Megamix. So after solving the F2L, uh, the next phase of solving a Megamix is known as the S2L, or second two layers. And effectively, after we solve the F2L, the S2L, we'll only have the last layer left to solve. So, back to a state where we've only got our F2L solved, essentially what we'll be doing is working our way around the entire puzzle and solving more stars and more F2Ls one colour at a time. And the way I'm going to show you in this tutorial is we're going to solve the yellow star and F2L, then the purple star and F2L, then the dark green star and F2L. And in the next video I'll show you how to solve the second last face. So, we've already solved our white star and F2L. We're now going to go ahead and solve the F2L of a colour which is adjacent to the white side. And I'm going to choose yellow in this example, um, as I mentioned before. And when we do this, we'll obviously, we won't need to be solving the entire star and F2L from scratch. Um, as we can see here, for this yellow F2L, um, we've already got these three yellow edges solved as part of our star. So, what we're going to do is just finish off our yellow star um, and find our last two. So firstly find our last two uh, yellow edge pieces and finish off our yellow star. So we've got this yellow and light green. What I can do is do something like F prime, U prime, R2 prime, like that. And it's generally a good idea when you're solving, when you're finishing off this yellow star to keep it on the bottom face. So keep it here. And now what I'm going to do is finish off this one. So we've got the orange, and yellow, so we can insert that one by moving it over here, and then do something like R prime F R, like that. So now we've solved these two to finish off our yellow star, and also notice that if we're just purely looking at the yellow F to L here, we've already got this pair solved and this pair solved. So all we need to do to finish off our yellow F to L as part of our F to L as part of our S to L is fill in these three remaining slots in between these two yellow edge pieces. So in this case, I'm going to start out with this slot here. So here we have yellow, uh, yellow and purple, and yellow and orange. Here is the yellow, purple and orange corner, and here is the orange and purple edge. Now what we're going to do is figure out a way to insert these two into this slot. And what we can do, um, probably what I would be inclined to do here, is split them up. So I can do a U prime, hide this one away like that, then do something like another U prime, and then unhide this corner. And remember, as we as we did in the three and as we did in the star and F2L, essentially what we're going to be doing is having this sort of working zone directly above the slot where our pieces belong. So here I've got this corner and this edge already in this face. So now I have a case where we have the yellow sticker of the corner facing upwards in this layer, and its edge is here. So what we're going to do is match up this purple sticker with the purple center, bring the edge away from the slot like that, match up this corner, so bring this corner on top of it and unhide it, and now we have this pair which we can just insert into this slot here. So we can do that. So now we need to figure out uh, what we're going to do next. So we need to solve either this slot or this slot here. So let's just look around for the pieces. Um, I notice in this yellow, light green and dark blue slot, I have this corner here. So this is yellow, light green and dark blue corner. And the dark blue and light green edge is back here. So what I'm gonna do is just rotate it so that it's in this face, so this working zone, directly above this slot where it belongs. And fortunately enough, we have a very easy case for this corner and this edge. This is a very easy three move insertion case because these two stickers on top are different to one another. So remembering our F2L techniques, we can just pair them up, slide them across, and then insert them like so. So lastly, to finish off our yellow star and F2L, 
we need to find the yellow, green and uh, yellow, orange and light green corner and the orange and light green edge. Now the corner is here. So what I'm going to do is again, just move it up to this working zone. So I've just moved it up to here and look for the edge piece. The edge piece is back here. So this is the orange and light green edge piece. I'm just going to so rotate this side to bring it into this area above our F2L slot. So above the slot where these two belong. Now I have a case where these two colors on top are the same. So I have the green on top and the green on top of both the corner and the edge piece. So what I can do to pair up these two pieces and get them ready to insert is hide the corner away like that. Move this edge piece over here and unhide the corner. Now I can easily insert them into this slot. And we can see that in addition to completing the white star and F2L, now we have completed the yellow star and F2L and a Megaminx is clearly uh, on our way to being solved. So after solving our yellow star and F2L, I'm actually going to rotate in this direction and solve the next color, which is adjacent to the yellow star and F2L. We could alternatively rotate this way and solve blue pieces. But in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is finish the purple star and F2L. And here in this case, we see that we already have one, two, three, four purple star edges solved, as well as one, two, three purple F2L pairs solved. So this makes our lives a little bit easier still in that we only need to insert one more purple star edge and two F2L pairs. So our purple star edge is here. So this is the purple edge. What I'm going to do is bring it over here and then just insert it down there. So now we've solved this purple star. So we've solved the five purple edges around the purple center. And we see that there are two more F F2L slots that we need to fill here and here. So here we're going to be looking for the purple, dark green and light blue corner piece, which is over here. So what I can do is move it up into this working zone here. And then I'm looking for the dark green and light blue edge piece. And the dark green and light blue edge piece is over here. So what I'm going to do is again, move it up into this working zone directly above this, uh, this slot where they both belong. And now I have a case whereby this corner and this edge have different colors on top and I'm going to set it up to a three move insertion. So we have something like this. What I can do is uh, recognize that if I have the corner here with this purple sticker facing to the right, I need to move this edge from this position to this position. So I can do something like R prime to hide the corner, U to move this edge to there, then an R to unhide the corner. And now what I can do to insert this pair is just do R, U, R prime like that. And now we've solved this purple F2L pair. And now the next one, the last one that we need to solve to complete this purple layer is uh, this one. So we've got the purple, light blue, and orange corner and the light blue and orange edge. So the corner is here. So I'm just going to move it up to this working zone above this slot and the edge is here. So again, I'm just going to move it up to there. And when we look around here, we already have this easy three move insertion. Um, so for example, if we had, I don't know, if we have a, had a different case whereby the colors were the same on top, like in this case, then what we could do is hide this corner, put this edge over here, so that when we unhide the corner, we get a pair like that, and then insert it like so. And now we've completed not only the white star in F2L, the yellow star in F2L, but we've also finished off the purple star and all the F2L pairs around it. So after finishing this, we can see that there are only three more faces that we need to solve. So this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to do the same uh, technique again to finish off the green star and F2L. So we're going to find the last green star edge. So here it is, the dark green one. You can move it over to here and then bring it down. So solve this dark green star edge. Now we're looking for our two F2L pairs. So 
in this slot, um, we need to find the light yellow and light blue edge, which is here, and the dark green, light yellow, and light blue corner, which is here. So this one belongs down here, and this edge belongs here. So what I can do is recognize that these two colors on top are the same. So I can hide the corner away like that, bring this edge over here, and unhide the corner. And now I have these two paired up. I can insert them down here. And now I've finished one of my two dark green F2L slots. The next one that I need to solve is here. So this is the dark green, red, and light yellow. So the red and light yellow edge is here, which belongs here. And then my corner is here. So I'm looking for the corner piece with dark green on it. And it also has red and light yellow. So now what I can do is figure out which F2L case that I have and use my intuitive F2L techniques to insert these two pieces into this slot. So here we have a case where the uh, sticker uh, of the F2L color that we're solving is facing upwards. So we have this dark green sticker facing upwards. And then we know that in situations like that, we align the edge piece with the, the outer sticker of the edge piece with the center move it away from the slot where it needs to go, bring the corner on top of it to pair them up, and then undo that hiding move. And then all we need to do is insert it there. And now we've solved not only our white star in F2L, our yellow star in F2L, our purple star in F2L, but also our dark green star and F2L. And we only have two more faces left to solve. So on this puzzle, we have the light, the pink face and the gray face, which need to be solved. In the next video, I'll show you how we finish off solving most of this pink face, such that we only have one layer left to solve, which is the last layer. So to reiterate what I've shown you in this video, after solving the white star and F2L, we solve the stars and F2Ls of three colors which are all adjacent to the white face. And we do it in either, we can do it in an anti-clockwise order or in a clockwise order, it doesn't really matter, as long as we do them adjacent to one another. So here notice that after we solve the white star in F2L, we solve the yellow, then we move that way, solve the purple, move that way, and then solve the green. You don't necessarily have to follow this color order, you can uh, decide on a color order yourself, but just make sure that you follow it in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction and make sure that the colors that you solve are all adjacent to the first color that you solved for star and F2L, which in our tutorial was the white face.